when I signed with Alamo. Okay. Yeah, when I signed with Todd, it was like he changed it because he was like he gave me more money and let me do what I want to do. So he was like, you could just be creative and just do what you want to do. Because a lot of labels be really be on artists where it's like, oh, you can't drop for these many months, you can't do this, you can't do that. And they be stuck because they gave him all the money. And he just gave me the money and just told me, like, do what you want to do, I believe in you. Mm-hmm. And that's all we just Were you ever afra- afraid of that happening? What? Like where a label came to you where it's like, man, this is really good, but I don't really have as much control as I want. Like, were you ever afraid? Were you ever afraid of my, like, my that first situ- my first situation was Def Jam, um, and it was like that. Where it was like, man, try to be pop, try to be R and B. So I'm doing all this different shit, and it's really like fucking me up. Like it's really holding me back because it's like I'm thinking it's working, and they want this to work. But the streets and the and the inter- the internet, they like, man, I want to hear that old shit you used to do. So when I just locked in with Ty, and he was like. You can do what you want to do. It's really just like, let me get back to being me, like being myself. Mm-hmm. And stop trying to please the label. 